Hello, Libras. This is you versus them for the 7th through the 13th. This is for Libras, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. This is a general read, so it will not resonate with everyone. If you're interested in a personal, um, that information is down below the video. Okay, here we go. Libras. Hmm. I think a lot of you are, you're not really interested in a relationship right now. I think most of you are just wanting to have your family life in check is what I'm getting. Um, but those of you who really and truly do not um, feel like you don't want a relationship, I, it's like you're, you're not seeing something when it comes to relationship matters. There's something that is very mysterious about this situation that you're currently in. It's, it's like you is like you your intuition is telling you to look at something a little bit deeper concerning a uh, possible relationship here um, but a lot of you are refusing to see it is what I'm feeling with this okay maybe you don't want to get into a relationship or maybe you're just telling yourself you don't because of you know you've been hurt before let's see about the other person the other person has the Ten of Cups on their side. I feel like there's somebody that is um, that is interested in being in a relationship with you guys. Um, this is the ultimate fulfillment in a relationship. This is basically between the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. That's basically having everything in a relationship, in a family. Um, but I think that... You know, this person sees you as very, um, they see you as untouchable. They see you as nurturing, caring, giving. They see you as somebody they would love to have on their arm. Okay? This is how they're viewing you. Let's see what you want. I feel like you really don't know what you want here, to be honest with you, with this Nine of Wands, because this is be being defensive. This is um, feeling like you've had enough of something and you just want to, you know, leave it alone. Leave this behind. Um, this is almost like, this is confusion. And this to, together for me is like, um, like kidding yourself, because it's like a paranoia almost surrounding information that you don't know seven of cups with the high priestess um that is that is somebody like daydreaming kind of um you know you tell yourself a story that you want to believe and you um, you make yourself believe it because it's like a defense mechanism here but there is some confusion illusion um around you I feel like you guys also want to, you want options. You want to be able to really choose if you be in a relationship, if you don't, that you can be in a relationship if you want to, you just don't, or, you know, you have options, you know, to choose from even, okay? And I feel like, you know, a lot of you are defending that stance that, you know, you just, you just don't want to. There, there's a lot of confusion surrounding this um, relationship. And a lot of you are refusing to see just how defensive you are. Okay. Let's see. And this is somebody that has really, you know, they've endured some hardships in their life. And all these wands back here, I feel, are... Um, you know, just communicating with other people throughout the months, the years, or, you know, I feel like these are years of, of, um, relationships, bad relationships possibly that you have endured. And it's like, it's a struggle to take on another relationship here. If you look at this nine of wands, 
these are like all the past hurts all the things that you have toughed out and you've got this one wand right here and you know you want to go forward you've got one see how this knight has got one knee up and one knee down it's like you want to continue on this journey and find the one for you but it's like you know what i'm tired i have endured all of this you know I can have someone if I want to, but you know what? Right now, I'm just choosing not to. Okay? That's what that is for me. Let's see <clears throat> what the other person wants. You know, it, this... this really to me it says a couple of things but the first thing that I got was that there is um, a Pisces Aquarius individual that wants to see you knocked off your throne they want to see you um, be knocked down a few pegs that's the first thing I'm getting for some of you, okay? So be mindful of anybody in your life that is like um, a Pisces, Aquarius energy, okay? Because that right there I'm getting strongly when I first pull these cards. Um, but for others of you, this individual I feel like they want you to wake up and see, you know, that they are good for you. They want you guys to move into an area where, you know, you can discuss, you know, being together calmly. Um, even if you're not talking to them, they want you to open up and talk to them because they don't feel like you're in a good spot right now. Okay. They want you to wake up. They want you to wake up and really see them and what it is that they want that they have genuine intentions. They may have genuine intentions, they may not. But with the Ten of Cups showing up there, there is, um, they definitely want something with you, okay, for some of you, all right? Let's see what you guys need. I think this is this is you considering um, not only a relationship, a, a you know connection with someone, but this is you guys kind of rethinking your stature right now, being very defensive um, and moving towards stability here. You know not feeling so anxious here the nine of wands and moving more into a knight of pentacles mode where you are willing to take action but you are observant before you actually enter into something okay that is what that is and then with the seven of cups right here this is illusion this is instability and the four of wands is stability so you can see how what you want differs widely from what it is that you actually need. There's a need to address your stability. There's a need to address your confidence. There's a need to address, um, you know, you actually engaging with other people on a deeper level here. You see? Very stable energy. This is not stability. Okay. Let's see what the other person needs. I feel like this person needs to um, reveal their feelings. They need to tell you exactly how they feel. But they don't need to come in... Um, with this very fast approach they need to approach things lightly with you I feel I also feel like this individual probably has mommy issues um, 
they hide their feelings a lot. This person also is mysterious. Okay. Um, the moon, you, they have the moon over here and you have the seven of cups over here. So there is a level of confusion with them as well. Um, I feel like this person is very um, receptive, very intuitive here. Very intuitive here. I feel like they need um, an awakening because I feel like they're blocking a lot of things. They're hiding a lot of things to protect themselves here. They're wanting you to come towards them. They're wanting you to, you know, lower your lower your guard down a little bit. When what they need to do is to actually reveal their feelings. They need to be the one that come towards you. I feel strongly Pisces energy here. Okay. And let's see. <clears throat> If anyone else is involved here I think you're just deciding that you want to um, you know just move on just move on I feel like you know the will of fortune you know it it brings around karma it spins out karma so whatever you have done um before in the past you know it's like you're being called to act here and whatever it is that you are being called to do then there you, you should probably answer that call there probably is a nagging feeling within you with the high priestess being here okay for you to open up and do something because otherwise if it is something that you are failing to see failing to do failing to look at within yourself um, then here comes the wheel spinning out whatever you've put into it okay so be mindful of that that Scorpio energy there this is also Scorpio energy okay Let's see if someone else is involved for them. Hmm. This person is possibly someone that they like to flirt. They like attention. And it's almost like if you're willing to give them attention, then they are all over you. But if you fail to give them attention, they're on to something else is what I feel. I don't feel like there's anybody in particular involved for them, but I just feel like it's because there's nobody that's really giving them the attention that they are seeking. Okay, and they are seeking this Ten of Cups with you again. Like I said, I don't know what this person if they are really a good person or not for you, but this is what they're wanting. But it seems like they just want it, and it's not specific as to who they want it with. But right now, they're focused on you. Is what I'm feeling. Okay, let's see if this is likely. Well, definitely, definitely not between the 7th and the 13th, I don't think, because here we have this Aquarius individual, and this is somebody that does not use a lot of emotion when they make decisions. They strictly come from an intellectual standpoint, like, you know, how is this going to benefit me? Very self-serving energy here. And this is taming the beast. This is taming things that, you know, you like you have this instinct to do, but you may know that it's not good to do. 
So this is actually somebody trying to walk away, trying to leave this situation behind. And um, there's, there's somebody being pulled here. There's somebody really being pulled here. And whether it's you Libras or the other person. Okay. And then keep in mind too, guys, that um, this energy can go vice versa. So, you know, you pick a side, but I will tell you the signs that I see here. Um, Virgo, Pisces, Aquarius, um, Sagittarius, Aries, Taurus, Scorpio energy here. And um, yeah, so let me go ahead and pull a Romance Angels card for you guys to close out your reading. And we also have uh, Leo energy. Let's see. Yeah, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Okay, and that kind of coincides with this Seven of Swords energy. Somebody really trying to dip out and... Um, or do something that they're trying to hide, trying to get away with. Somebody's trying to get away with something. So pay attention to the red flags, okay? So that's what I have for my Libras, and I will be speaking with you guys soon. Bye now.